Kentucky football. True Blue fans are having a chuckle at ESPN uh, from an article from ESPN this week. In it, Adam Rittenberg makes the argument that it is better to coach at schools like Louisville than those like UK based on factors like location, solid facilities, and salary pool, among other perks. Meanwhile, the home of Mark Stoops falls into a Tier 4 category with resource restrictions, average infrastructure, and limitations with administrative and fan support. And Maggie, that's crazy because the fan and administrative support has uh, quadrupled over the last four or five years here. It's all crazy based on that criteria you just listed. Resource restrictions and average infrastructure. I've been in the Joe Craft facility. I know what it costs to build and maintain. That's not average. The BBN as a fan base is certainly not average. And Vince Merrill on the recruiting trail is not average either. <laughs> no, and you know what? Kentucky averaged more fans in the stands than Louisville last season. So the fan support is not average. All right. While Kentucky baseball star TJ Collette geared up for the Major League Baseball draft this week, UK Athletics highlighted the first baseman's biggest off-field passion, helping children fighting cancer. The two-time member of the SEC Community Service Team is heavily involved with the Never Ever Give Up Jesse Reese Foundation, whose mission is to connect with families of young cancer patients, bring awareness to their stories, and offer them a network of helpful resources and sending the entire family encouragement through their journey. They also do uh, joy boxes, Maggie, to give uh, kids toys and, and snacks and other goodies. I love seeing this from him. I love when UK is able to highlight all of the athletes who are able to contribute and give back to the community in this way. It's a heartwarming story. I love when we get to see stuff like this. Good for him. Yeah, and he's one of the best at it. All right, yeah. life was not all bad during our state's time on lockdown based on a couple of new studies. Half of Kentuckians surveyed say the quarantine inspired them to make healthier life choices, including eating better and drinking less alcohol. And another report finds that the Bluegrass State ranked third on the list of states where people have been enjoying working from home the most. Maggie, I fall into the other half where I ate more, drank more, <laughs> and didn't. No, I don't necessarily love working from home. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I think working from home is great. <laughs> no, seriously, I love seeing Kentucky at the top, near the top of this list. The state doesn't always do well on lists like these. Sometimes we sort of see the state trending toward the bottom. So to see Kentucky doing well in terms of wanting to be healthy and make good life choices, I love seeing our state up there like that. Well, and listen, the working from home thing too, so many Kentuckians were without work that even if you had to work from home, I'm sure you were very grateful that you still had a job with the way the economy went in the state. Um, yes. Thank you, Maggie, for joining us. Tonight's wrap up is next to Take Kentucky Continues.